All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about local directories and citations. They're really the same thing. And what I'm going to be doing is, one, explaining to you what they are, and then I'm going to be showing you how to be able to fulfill this for your client. We're going to be using Colorbright Painting because um, that's our client that we're using in this series to show you guys how to fulfill all of this stuff. So what is a local directory? Simple. It's Google My Business, Bing, Yelp. It's a directory uh, of local businesses that people can search and find, you know, different businesses, uh, find out about the business, uh, get their phone number, maybe see reviews about their business. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we put our clients' information on as many of these sites as possible. And the reason for this is a couple of things. One is we just want our clients' information everywhere. So if someone's searching Yelp, they see our client. If they're see searching, you know, Yellow Book, they see our client. If they see Bing, you know, they search Bing, they see our client. Now, um, we've already talked about Google My Business and Bing. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to kind of show you the rest of the directories. Now, there's a second benefit to this. The other benefit is that we get a relevant link back to our site from these directories and the more links we get and we're going to create these directories a certain way so we get like the right kind of link um but the more these links we get the more we tell google you know what our site's about and that our site is relevant not only for our niche or service but also for that in for the local area so that we're relevant say for painting a painting contractor in Long Island. And so the more directories fill out, the more links we get pointed back to our site, the better our site's gonna rank, but also the better that our Google My Business listing is gonna rank. And hopefully it'll help us get into that three pack, you know, so our client can get tons and tons of phone calls. So the first thing I do is before I even go out and start creating these local directories is I wanna get organized um, since i'm going to be going to a lot of these uh, local directory sites i'm i'm going to be and basically be i'm going to be putting in the same information over and over again i've created like this profile sheet now i will give you this profile sheet it'll be in the low um the resource section and it's just a google doc right here and what it does is it has all the pertinent information that we're going to need so if we look at it right here as the client's name, the business name, the URL, their email, their address, phone number, a description. So I'm going to just be copying, pasting this description in, you know, in, in all the directories. I'm not going to make a whole new description like for each directory. You don't need to do that. The easiest thing to do is just create this uh, one description and copy and paste it. I have my main keywords. I have my categories that some of these directories are gonna ask for. I have a link to a Dropbox folder that has all my that has all my photos in it that have already been geotagged and already been named for the keywords and everything else. Dan's already did has done that, so I have that right here. Um, and just click on it to uh, to access it. Uh, if I have a video URL, if I want to put up a video, it would go here, hours of operation, logins, and different things like that. So before you even start doing this, you want to make sure that you have all your client's information in one area so you can access it pretty pretty fast, right? You don't like, you know, you don't want to be going through old emails, going into ClickUp, going here, going there, trying to find it. Like if you have it all in one place, it makes this process super easy and you're able to do it super fast now after i show you how to do a few of these um, i'm going to give you a list of directories but then i'm going to also show you how to outsource this uh, if you don't want to do it yourself and i usually get this outsourced and get it done for almost like a dollar citation or dial dollar directory and it makes it super easy uh, to do especially once you start getting more and more clients all right, so now when we go back to the spreadsheet, I have different um, tabs here. One is for our social media accounts. Now we already have Google set up, Facebook, uh, Bing. I don't have the link, um, but that's already set up. Um, there's some here like Twitter, YouTube, 
Um, I actually show you how to set up Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube in the agency setup. So you guys will see like how, how to set it up you know, if you want to do it for your clients. So I'm not going to cover it here in this section. Um, I will do Yelp. I'll show you guys how to set up Yelp. And then on this tab, I have some of the other citations that we usually always do for every single client. Um, and then I'm going to show you ways also how to find like other citations that maybe your competition is doing that that uh, you should be doing right that maybe the business should have um, so here and then here's just a list of some of the the main ones right so you guys will get this spreadsheet and you guys will be able to do it so let me just go through and kind of show you how to set up a few of these so let's say we want to set up Yelp we want to take um, our color bright painting of Long Island and we want to go ahead and we want to set up Yelp. So let's go to So it's gonna be Yelp for business now. Yelp. All right, so right here. Let's go manage my free listing and That's gonna ask me for the business name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and put this on my other screen So first of all, it's gonna ask me for the zip code. So the zip codes one one seven four zero business name now this is really important when we're doing the business name we want to make sure that we have um the keyword in it so it's painting long island is the keyword let's spell it right so color bright painting of long island all right so let's press continue okay it's going to ask me for the category it's going to be home services and painters. Uh, let's see if it gives me another one. Uh, let's see if it has. Um, so now what are the categories we have? I have it on my sheet right here, right? Just so I don't forget. Remember in the sheet where I have my categories. Uh, whoops. Okay, so I have wallpaper, wallpapering. Uh, another one is power washing. Let's see if that one's in there. Pressure washing right there. All right, so these are my main services. I can only add three. Business phone number. So let's add the number, 631-242-1534. Web address, just copy right off my sheet right here. And then it's going to have uh, the address. now. When you guys are doing these local directories for your client, you're going to want to have access to their email. So <clears throat> what you could do is just tell them, say, listen, I'm going to be doing these citations and um, can you please forward your emails that you get at info at color bright painting or whatever it is to my email just for the time being so that we can uh, verify some of these citations because a lot of these local directories are going to need some kind of verification either by phone or by email most of them are by email so what i usually do is i'll put an email in here that they don't use maybe every day but an email that we can put inside the directories that will forward maybe to their main email and then that could also forward to my email. Um, that way it's, um, you know, I can get access it without having to see a lot of their business stuff or mess around with that. So if that makes a lot of sense. Um, so what it would be is like, it could even be info, it could be admin, it could be, um, what, you know, whatever you want. And then again, it would forward to say Joe at Three Stage Marketing or Joe at Chimera Media, and then it would forward to say their main email box. Okay, so then what we're going to do is add business. All right, so it's going to say now to. Um, so it says um, you can either sign up on Yelp, or um, if you're already on Yelp, log in. So here you could either put um, their information, you know, or your information. All right, so the Yelp verification changed a little bit. Um, they actually, once I uh, logged in, they asked for, uh, they wanted to send a text message to the phone number or, or a, you know, 
they wanted to call the number. So what you're going to have to do with with Yelp is if you have a client is coordinate a time when they're around that they can verify you. Um, you don't have to do this with any other really citation. It's really just the Yelp, Google My Business being those are the hardest ones. Uh, after that, you really won't have to do anything with a phone number. And if you do, you could just skip to a different local directories. Um, as a side note, what we do with some of our clients is we do have tracking numbers that we use um, when we bring them on. Um, and we control the tracking number so we can, uh, you know, so we can forward the, the calls to us to do the verifications. Um, but you don't need that. Just if you're doing Yelp and, and odds are they will have Yelp. But if they don't, then just make sure they're around. So anyway, once you verify it with the phone number, this is the next screen. So they say, um, what's the most important for you today? To look great on Yelp, get more customers, uh, that, and I want to do both. What's the best way for the customer to contact your business? Uh, so for my client, it's going to be a phone call. Which of these do you have available? I have photos of my work. I have photos of my business. I don't have a video right now. Okay. All right. Which of these apply to your business? Local owned and operated. Uh, family owned and operated. Uh, it's not woman owed, not veteran, not minority. Offers they do offer commercial ser uh, services, eco friendly. Okay, and we do speak English. We do not speak Mandarin. All right, so let's put speak English, and then we'll hit next. All right, so. The rest of this stuff, we're not going to do ads. We're not going to do any of this. This all costs money. We want to go to business information. All right, so business information, we just want to make sure that all our information is correct, which uh, looks correct. Come down here now. Uh, what Yelp's doing is they really want you to upgrade and pay money. They just want to make you pay money somehow. So like this portfolio, they're going to ask you to upgrade, which we're not going to do. Let's add the hours here. So okay, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, so we just put the hours in. And that's what you want to do is and and all the listings and directories you're gonna do, it's pretty basic. You just want to go through and fill out as much information um, as you can. So some All right, so we got the hours, specialty, provide information about your business specialty, history, right? So you can put in the bio, history, specialty. You wanna just make sure that when you um, put this information in that you you wanna really put your keywords in here. So here I'll put, oh, let's see if I can fit this. You know, Colbright Painting Long Island is a full-service painting company located in Long Island, New York. We are a family business that has been painting homes in Suffolk County, New York, for over 50 years. So here I got my, um, within here I got my keywords. Uh, all right, so here's the history of the business. If you want, meet the, you know, meet the manager. Uh, I don't have that information. You can get that information from your clients, but it really is not uh, necessary. All right, so there we have our full uh, pretty much description in there. All right, so next what we're going to do is reviews. We don't have any right now because it's brand new. So let's go to photos and videos. So this is where we get to upload our photos. So let me just open this Dropbox I have right here. All right, so, all right, so the photo, when you put the photos inside Yelp, they require now that you add captions to them. And um, this, this uh, photo has already been tagged. The file name has been named. So we're just going to put in the keyword, exterior painting Long Island. All right, and then we're going to upload another one. And we're just going to keep doing that over and over again. 
All right, so I uploaded a few photos with, with my main uh, keywords, and you could keep uploading even more photos with your different keywords that you have. I'm just gonna do four for now so that we can, uh, so I can just move on with the video. So we have our photos. So that's basically it for Yelp. So if we go to your business, all right, so we, ba we, we pretty much have everything we need filled out. Now what it says here is thank you for claiming Colorbright Painting of Long Island. Um, um, it won't appear on Yelp until they look it over and approve it. So once they approve it, then they'll send an email and then you'll be, they will be able to get the link for it and it'll be up and probably get indexed and, uh, and that'll be great. And if you see right here, we definitely have a link back to our site. Oh, let me just make sure. Yep, we see it. So all our information is here. And then once we get a um, an email that's live, we'll also get a URL. Now, since we don't have the URL right now, I do want to go into Yelp and I do want to show you something. <clears throat> so if we pull up this listing, this is another site we have. Um, and it's called Synergy Spray Foam Installation. So the keyword is spray foam insulation this is in san diego so yelp automatically puts san diego at the end right so it's spray foam insulation san diego and you want to make sure that your keyword is in the url so this is really important so that even though that this links back to my site having a, having this in the url is uh pretty important um and that's another reason why we're doing so many of these directories to get the link from a relevant page that has our keyword inside the URL. Anyway, guys, that's it for Yelp. Um, I'm going to actually end this video here and then I'm going to go in the next video. I'm going to just show you some more kind of citations, how to fill them out, everything else. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next video.